This particular taping technique is for shin splints. Now, I wanna provide a quick disclaimer. Uh, shin splints are a very difficult thing to treat. Uh, many individual athletes have them. They're not always just problems specifically with the shin. Many times there are problems with uh, the arch, the ankle, the knee, the hip, can all create problems for an individual with shin splints. So this is just something that you can try doing. Um, some people have a lot of success with it. Others get no relief from it whatsoever. So it's kind of a trial and error thing. Uh, so don't be discouraged if you do it and it doesn't really help the particular athlete. Um, know that there's a variety of different other things that you can uh, consider as options. Uh, strengthening is going to be your number one option. Then you can also include your uh, electrical and um, um, heat and cold modalities as treatment, as well as you can consult a physician for any type of medications to reduce the inflammation that's in there that's causing the problem. So again, a technique that's worth trying. Um, certainly some, individ some individuals like it, but I wouldn't say that it's a cure-all for individuals that have shin splints. So we're gonna use primarily, again, our inch and a half white linen tape uh, to do that technique. Um, you're gonna want to have some elastic tape as well, because um, that's gonna wrap the, the tape job up at the very end. Um, but here again, we're gonna show you how to do the shin taping. So this particular technique is for a condition called shin splints. Shin splints is a very uh, kind of multi-term uh, multi that is used for a variety of different lower leg in, uh, injuries or issues. Uh, sometimes individuals will have more uh, lateral leg pain. Sometimes they'll have more medial leg pain. So it really kind of depends on where their pain is. But the whole idea is to just really uh, do two things. One is to really kind of pull in the muscle and pull it towards the tibia which is going to help uh, reduce um, tension there, which is going to help alleviate pain, but it's also gonna apply some compression, which adds warmth, and if you add warmth, uh, many times the actual pain um, is uh, resolved just uh, due to that. So it's really going to just kind of hold everything nice into place. Uh, normally what we wanna do to prep the person is put them in this called the long sit position, which their knee is uh, flex just like this and we want to make sure that we apply the tape directly onto the skin so we want to make sure that his entire lower leg is shaved. Uh, for this individual we haven't asked him to do that so we're going to use uh, uh, pre-wrap just to protect him but normally we would want to go directly onto the skin. So if you were or had to use pre-wrap in a real life situation you would want to make sure that you uh, put uh, the tough skin and tape it here on just to make sure that again the wrap doesn't slide around, slide down. Um, and again, that would be resolved um, if they were completely shaven. So we're gonna, just gonna apply our pre-wrap. I'm gonna st start down um, at the kind of the lower leg and just go um, and move, work our way up. We don't necessarily want this to um, uh, you know, be too bulky because again, we're trying to prevent it from uh, sliding down. We might want it to be nice and smooth. Um, as um, all of our other previous tapings, we want to make sure that we apply a nice good anchor. So the way our, way our anchors go is we apply two of them. We apply the first anchor to the lateral side of the foot, and we apply our second anchor to the medial side of the foot. It's a fairly easy tape job because we're just going to now go from one anchor to the other anchor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pull over to the other side. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pull over to the other side. I'm just gonna work my way up that anchor, overlapping the strips by half, and just work my way all the way up to the top. Again, because I'm pulling towards um, the tibia, I'm just closing that gap, making sure that it relieves the pressure of the lower leg. Again, you can also do this on the medial side, the same thing, which is um, very useful as well, especially if they have medial uh, shin pain. And once that's done, we're all set and ready to go. We do wanna close this up, so we do wanna place one piece of tape over all of those edges so they don't come pulling right off. And we wanna do the same thing on the medial side. So once that's done, 
If you left it on here, that probably wouldn't be great because um, it's, there's a fairly good chance that the tape is just gonna pull right off. So what we do wanna do is um, kind of wrap this up so that way, you know, if he's a soccer player and he goes for a slide tackle, uh, it doesn't just kind of um, come, you know, flying off if he's a football player and um, somebody tackles him, that would, you know, very easily just come right off. So then what we're gonna do is we're going to take some elastic tape. And we're just gonna apply this directly right over the top. Again, this is gonna make sure that it just stays nice and secure. And here again, this applies that compression. So that's gonna add a little bit of warmth in there. And therefore, that's gonna make sure that the, um, uh, that the lower leg feels better. So once that's good and secure, again, make sure that you hold it tight rub it just a little bit so that way the adhesive you know kind of holds in place check the circulation make sure that we haven't done it too tight there is a condition that um, in, in impacts and affects athletes it's called anterior compartment syndrome and it mirrors many of the same symptoms as shin splints and so therefore compression actually makes that condition worse so you never, don't ever want to create a situation where you compress the lower leg and then you have decreased or cut off circulation, that can be very problematic. So this is a very important um, uh, feature to make sure that you do with this uh, shin splint taping. Otherwise, have him hop up, run around. Um, if he feels any numbness going down to his toes, if he feels any increased symptoms as a result of the tape, make sure that you cut it and take it off because it can, again, if he's got anterior compartment syndrome, create an additional uh, problem. So otherwise, he's good to go and uh, ready to check that out.